Earlier this year, I wrote an article on lateral flow and how it should be known for far more than just a pregnancy test. This got a great reaction online. One of the comments I received was from Paul Davis, Chief Scientific Officer at Mologic. Paul's actually one of the founding fathers of lateral flow technology and he worked on one of the first pregnancy tests at Unilever. He was kind enough to invite me down to the Mologic offices where I was able to find out more about lateral flow and the fascinating work they're doing. Paul was there at the very beginning of lateral flow, working at Unilever in the late 1980s on the first clear blue pregnancy test. I kicked off our conversation, asking him how lateral flow has changed since then. At one level, I'd say it hasn't changed very much at all. We were concerned with having particles on which we had to attach antibodies, nitrous cellulose test strips on which we had to create immobilised lines of antibody to form the, the test line. That is pretty much the same in its basic forms, but I guess that's the same as saying that a Model T Ford has four wheels and an engine, uh, and now we've got uh, driverless cars and uh, high performance that goes way beyond what Henry Ford would have ever uh, imagined. Something that has changed rapidly is the technology surrounding lateral flow. Melodic are right at the cutting edge with their CARD program. CARD is the um, abbreviation for Centre for Advanced Rapid Diagnostics. We're taking antibodies and engineering them in ways which we never imagined we could do back in the 1980s. And by engineering the antibody molecules, you can get much higher affinity, much higher performance characteristics. They bind more quickly, they bind more strongly. And all of that translates into much greater levels of sensitivity. The CARD program's existence is in part down to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's faith in Melodic. They began partnering in 2018 and set Melodic a challenge to make lateral flow rapid diagnostic tests more sensitive than ever before. Uh, and so our big challenge, which was a big challenge, was to get not to 100 picogram per mil or 10 picograms per mil, but one picogram per mil of, of an example infectious disease uh, biomarker. So that was our first uh, requirement, that was the first milestone and that was where we had to prove ourselves and we were able to do it in two stages. The first stage we achieved by the start of 2018. Despite the technological advances, lateral flow still doesn't have the reputation it deserves. But if it's really not sensitive or sophisticated enough, as so many say, why hasn't anything better been invented? The answer? there is no better solution. During the time in Unilever, when Unilever was the main producer of lateral flow tests because of the clear blue pregnancy test, we had many brainstorms where we'd get the best brains of the company, or the most fertile brains of the company, into a room like this, and get them to think about how are we going to upstage lateral flow? What's going to be the new test that's even simpler, even better? And every time we came back with the answer, there's nothing that's simpler, there's nothing that's better.